Yeah. Good evening, pig citizens, and welcome to another edition of the Pig Diplomat Citizen Corner. As we are all aware, there's a silent but not so invisible killer out there. A virus, a pandemic that has swept the world and that has basically destroyed so many lives. Tonight, I'm going to speak to Cheryl X, who is just going to share with us her journey as she had to grapple with the realities of COVID-19. Good evening, Cheryl X. Just um, tell us who you are, just briefly. Hi, guys. Um, well, as you know, my name is Cheryl X, and um, as Mr. Louis has just stated, I'm basically in the recovery mode of COVID-19. Um, I'm not sure which one I've had because apparently we're now in the, well, the third wave, but then they said there's another Delta. Yes. Don't know what. On that day, Cheryl, they did say that the the new variant that is prevalent in South Africa at the moment is the Delta yeah. variant, which is apparently more um, contagious. Please, please tell us. Um, the symptoms that you started experiencing and how did you deal with that? Okay, so basically it, what happened was I was fine, okay? Woke up on a Sunday morning, this was two weeks ago. Mm -hmm. Woke up the Sunday morning and it felt like I was completely drained. I could not even get out mm -hmm. of bed. And um, I said to my roommate, something's not right, I feel dizzy. Yeah. I, you know, that was the first thing, it was mm -hmm. dizziness, like the room was spinning. But since I suffer from chronic sinus, I thought, oh, it's just my sinus acting up and etc. As the day went on, it just got worse. It got worse. Um, the Monday evening, no, the Monday morning I woke up, same thing. Um, then diarrhea kicked in. So, sorry, before you go on, did you have any pre-existing conditions or were you as, we would say, a healthy, fit person um, when you got this disease? Um, you know what? Yeah, I consider myself very healthy as I do suffer from hypertension, but that has been under control for many years. Okay. So, um, yeah, and that is why, one of the reasons why I was very, when, when this COVID pandemic started uh. last year, I was very strict with myself, I was careful, you know, because I didn't want, I, I didn't want this, mm. this, this virus to eat me because of my hypertensive, and everybody said it could cause lots of complications mm. in you and yes. your breathing, etc., etc. So, it was a shock. Um, I eventually went to get tested. Um, yes, I went to a government clinic to go and uh, get tested. How, and how was that experience? Was it quick? Was it easy? Um, Did they treat no. you with respect? Um, no, they don't really care. Okay. And, I was, and then the symptoms were very bad. It was nausea. Um, I was dizzy. It was my headaches. I had every single block that you yeah. could tick on that form, I had that symptom. So, you are saying that... We are now dealing with a health system that because it is overwhelmed, yes. it is sort of losing the Ubuntu of Oh my gosh, it. you know what? Firstly, you, okay, you have to be there early mm -hmm. because, <laughs> let me tell you what happened to me. My, my roommate came and said he tested positive mm -hmm. he, because he was worse than I was at that stage. He went to do it at a private um, lab uh -huh. where he got his results the, next, the following day. And then the government, how long did you have to wait? I waited. I got. I got. I went to for my first test on the Wednesday. Uh -huh. They couldn't help me because the lady. They 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 only tested two. So she said, "No, I must fill in the form and come back." Let me talk. Of, okay. Yes. Sorry. And Go you on. know what the funniest thing was? It actually irritated me. And I'm. And I mean, I'm, most of the people in that queue is feeling sick. Uh -huh. They. The lady that was, this one lady filling in the form, yeah. the, and the other ladies in the tent doing the actual test. She went on lunch, half past 12. <laughs> so then there, were no, there was nobody else to take over? No, then they, then they stopped. So we're in the queue, uh -huh. and they told us, oh, the guy from the, the uh, lab that comes to collect the, the samples is coming at 2, and then they cut the line. So whoever's here and hasn't been helped must come back tomorrow. So. Sure. Now you must remember, you've got, got to be there half past six in the morning, the clinic opens half past six. Yeah. My experience was, I arrived, I got to that clinic, quarter past six in the morning, I'm sick, I'm, I actually fell asleep in the queue outside the clinic. And how, many, and how many people did you see at the clinic? When I arrived at the clinic that morning, there was about 
12 in front of uh-huh. me, but behind me, you, you, I can't even, you won't even believe. So, we went, and then they, we, they eventually let us in at just after 8. Mm. Because you stand in the line, they do your temperature, they screen you basically. Okay. Then you go forward, you go to where the... And what was your temperature? Mine was normal. Mine was okay. 35.6. So, you had everything else, but you just didn't... I never had a temperature. Never. Never so, had a so what you So, what you are saying is that, because even myself, I had always thought that a fever is always one of all of the other and I that no it, it is sort of like the standard symptom yes exactly that's a yeah that is the one thing i never had the fever so 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 that is so so you are actually are confirming when they talk about that there are asymptomatic people walking around mm-hmm. spreading this the disease without them knowing they have it exactly and then you have also those who, sh- who exhibit symptoms that exclude what we would then normally perceive as you are sick, yes. which is a fever. Exactly, exactly that. So, in, in some cases where we find ourselves in public and we, and we, we see so this person has got a fever, we are obviously more likely to, so to assume that... You assume that, that, it, that yes. person's got COVID, yeah. you might not. I never had a fever yeah. once. My fever was normal standing in that queue. My fever is still normal. My fever was normal and I was positive. So, so how do it's you feel... It's scary, it's scary. How do you feel now? Because you are one of the lucky ones. I'm you you have come through an ordeal which has proved to be tragic. Yes. How do you feel? I mean, it, it's, it, it, it is a cliche question, maybe a silly question, but how do you feel? You know, I can be honest with you. Look, it goes, they, the, they actually tell you at the clinic, 10 days. You, you have to wait 10 days. Of, you have to go through isolation uh, 10 days from the day you receive your results, okay. which I've gone through yeah. now. This is basically, I'm now on day 14. I only started feeling well on day 11, where I could actually get up and, you know, uh, like basically do my washing. Yes. Um, but I, what I want to say is, yes. day 3 to day 5, the three, four, 3 to 4 days during these 10 days, I literally felt like I was going to die. I couldn't breathe. Um, I had to, you can't even go and open your bedroom door. Walking to the bathroom was so strenuous. It, it, I, cannot, you, I cannot explain to somebody or even fathom it myself. And, 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 the energy it took. And, and stigma, because as I'm standing here, um, and we are trying to keep socially distanced, yeah. but as I'm standing here, I have so many things going through, through, through my mind. Um, tell me, stigma. Oh, people what treat you differently. Um, it's like they, they, there's a fear of you. You know why? You know why I'm laughing because we are all human. Yeah. You know, and as I was standing next next to you, I was very very afraid. Yeah, but it's right. And let me tell you, you should be. You should be because you might not be so lucky like I was. Yes. I thank God that I'm alive and walking today because you don't know what it does to you. Every individual is different. So I'm, I'm begging humanity as a person, as an individual, please wear your mask. If you have a symptoms, go and get tested. You don't know. You don't know. You might be lucky and just be a carrier, not show any symptoms, but the person that you were around and because you're not wearing your mask might die in two days because their bodies can't handle it. Well, pink citizens, there you have it. Clear, crisp, concise, rechait, and with emotion. Please take care out there. This is the Pink Diplomat, and this is the Pink Diplomat Citizen Corner.